In this video, I want to talk about something that's very interesting, something fun and something very heartwarming. I didn't think about making this video until I told this to one of my coach and she was like, hey, this is some deep stuff. You should really record this and someone will find this very valuable. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cam. Today, I want to tell you something that happened to me that was pretty freaking cool. I went back in time. I went back in time. I experienced it and I came back to the present and I learned so much from this experience i'm gonna dive in and tell you how i did it stay tuned right i didn't think about making this video until my until i told this experience or the story to um, my coach and she was like yo she, was, she didn't say yo but she's like wow that's a really heartfelt conversation like thank you for sharing like she she advised me to record this and rewatch it one day because this is some serious stuff she believes that someone will find this valuable so i was like hey that's a great idea now why don't i just record this and put it on, up on youtube and maybe people can relate how did i go back in time for the longest time i've been craving to go back in time thinking about what if there's a time machine what if when my life ends can i revisit the past can i re bring whatever i know right now back to the past and just change all these things that I want to change these life-changing events like if I've done it differently like what would have happened like all these what ifs I've been thinking about left and right until one day it happened and you're like how the hell did that happen you're like making this up cam kind of but not really so what happened was I went to sleep early right I went to sleep really early it happened a couple of days ago I went to sleep around 9 p.m and I had 10 hours of sleep for sure like enough time to start dreaming really deeply so at one point i woke up it was like 2 a.m i was really really awake i was like okay i can't sleep again you know how i'm gonna how i'm gonna go back to sleep it's like so many hours left and i already have like you know my six hours and i feel good or five hours in. and then i started thinking about okay what if i went back in time and then what happens when you like start thinking about something in a sleepy state you start dreaming about it right essentially i was creating my own dreams it, it felt so real I thought about, okay, what if I went back in time to when I was in middle school, if I had done differently, I went back to high school, if I'd done that differently. And then I really got into the details. I started thinking back, like doing specific things differently. For example, I went back to high school and I started hanging out with the cool kids because you know, back then I was, I wasn't, I wasn't cool enough. I was young, I was naive, but now with this new mindset, I mean, with this, a 28 year old mindset in a 10 year old body, 15 year old body, hanging out with the cool kids, saying the right things, hanging out with the the girls that everyone liked in high school just like doing that and i remember vividly the dream it was like it was like we're in an auditorium and they were like putting us in groups and then like i i immediately went for the cool kids and i knew without a doubt they're not going to reject me because i was i knew what i was talking about i knew what is up i, I dress like them i act like them and I, I knew you know from experience right and they took me in and then we we're like hanging out and we do all these like cool stuff we were cutting class we were like doing all these things i was meeting all these like these wild girls back then basically about all the stories i hear in high school like all these people like um skipping class and whatever and then i was doing that and second i was like okay now that i'm in the past i'm hanging with the cool kids i'm talking to the the, the popular girls and now i'm becoming popular myself how can i make money i was like okay what should i do should i buy apple stocks off the back and then i'm like okay how am i gonna do that i had no money i was living off my mom back then i was in i was a high schooler I was thinking about buying Apple stock, I was buying Pokemon cards, collecting Charizards early, building Amazon business when it's not even like a thing yet. So it's just like trying to figure out how to build a business or make some money at such a young age really pulled me away from hanging out with my mom or hanging out with my brother. Back then, me and my brother played games a lot, a lot, a lot. And that means I won't have time to play. I can vision myself. Like I was dreaming about myself. I was literally ignoring my brother. I was barely home. I was always out and about just doing everything differently and then i fast forward to like college and i was doing that differently because i ended up in a different college because i was smarter than the past right so i was hanging with the cool kids hanging out with the popular girls went to a different school not hanging out with my parents and uh, and, my, and my brother and my family i didn't meet my fiance so all these life-changing events i changed in the past and then when i finally woke up or like almost waking up i was like okay how do i find my fiance like i was thinking about like okay when i was in the past i was trying to find her and i couldn't it was just like so hard and when i did find her she knew who i was right because all the events were different and then it was just so heartbreaking because when i saw her and i spoke to her she's like i don't know who you are but hey we can be friends whatever 
and I'm already like dating some other girl and she's she's dating some other guy and like and we didn't have that close bond because we didn't meet when we were young. So I woke up, I was in shock sort of. I was I was I was scared. I was I woke up and I was really, really grateful that I'm back to the present. You know, after waking up, I was like, wow. Like I'd been thinking about changing the past events for so long and when I finally did, I was not happy because I lost my brother. In, in order for me and my brother ha to have this strong bond right now, we gamed a lot. We played a lot of games when we were young. We did a lot of things when we were young. And for me to take that away, because I was too busy making money when I was young, I'll lose a brother in the present. Second, I'll lose, I'll lose my mom too. I'm so close to her right now. And for me to not hang on my family in the past, I'll lose my mom. And then most importantly, I will lose my fiance I have now because I've been too busy hanging out with the popular girls, you know, hanging out with the popular kids, changing my school, you know, not meeting the right people. I would not have met her. I would probably not be in this house. I'd probably be a totally different person, you know? Maybe I would have more money. Maybe I would be like more cooler or whatever, but is that really important? It's just, it's just knowing that I have so much right now and I'll lose all that I have right now for something different blows my mind. I cannot fathom that. It's really hard. Basically the point of this, this video is to really think about if you have the craving to change the past, like, is it really worth it, right? Because I'm so happy with all the decisions I made, all the mistakes, you know, all the things, all the life events I've done so far, I am so grateful for that because without those, I will not end up at the place I am right now. With a beautiful fiance, a loving fiance, a loving brother and mother, who I am now, and all the friends I've met, you know, my boys, you know, my girlfriends, meeting Tony, I don't know. I feel like I, it's, I've been a total different destiny if I change the past. So I am so <laughs> grateful that I woke up and I was like, hey, I'm back here and I don't want to go anywhere else. You know, I don't want to go in the past. I don't want to hang out there no more. I don't want to hang on the future. I don't want to go too fast in the future. I want to stay here. And that is like, what I'll leave you with today. It's like the present is just so beautiful. I hope you find this video helpful in any way. It was a beautiful journey. I don't even bother thinking about the past no more. Like no more even like daydreaming about it. No more of that. I literally dreamt about it felt it, went into the past, everything was clear, I met the people, I had conversations, it was, there was teachers and there was like, and I was like, I was like a kid and I was trying to fight when I was a kid because I know how to fight now, back then I didn't know how to fight. So I was trying to fight as a kid, but my punches don't hurt. And it was just like all these like little details and it felt so real. After coming back, I am so sure that I will not go back again. If you ever thought about the past a lot, think about it, like think twice. Like, is it really worth changing the past? You're gonna lose whatever you have right now. And sometimes that it's very, very special. And that is that. If you think this was uh, helpful in any way, let me know. If you thought this was weird in any way, let me know. I was hesitant to make this video because it's just so like far-fetched, weird or whatever. But hey, I mean, that's, that's a cool experience. Uh, dreams happen. Dreams are real. If you relate, relate. So uh, that is it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Peace.